I'm Tiam Seng. We are starting a new series on using QT components in E3D modeling. We start with the bracket connection identified as 89813. The first model I'm using is based on a column with four connecting beams at different angles. I need to do a connection to create a joint. So I select the beam columns and the four beams. When I complete all the connections, I have to remember to use the enter and that will create the point joints for the four connection. Next, I will assign the component to use for the connection. I select modify joint and I can select one joint or I can use control to select multiple joints. So for this case, since there is the same joint, I select all the four joints. And then I can now select which is the connection that I need and apply them. You can see only one of the beams connect correctly as this is the original orientation of the connection. For the rest, we just need to change the orientation of the fitting. The orientation in the properties are based on the local coordinates. The Z direction will be the direction of the attached beam. So I just need to change the Y direction and I will get all the connection orientated in the correct way. So all is done now and we are going to do a second example. For the second example, we are going to show you a beam that is connected to a oblique column. This is 45 degrees or you have to know what is the orientation of the column. So like before, we have to do the connection to create the joint. Next, we have to assign the component to use for the connection. You can see that the connection or the component is not in the correct orientation. So what we need to do is to change the property of the fitting by changing its orientation. So for this case, Y is something 45 degrees. So let's change it. Let's do a try and error. If you cannot figure out which is the correct orientation to use. This is not what we want. Let's change it to sun. That is what we want. And you can see that the component has been correctly placed. Hopefully you find this helpful and see you again soon. Bye.